Tomlin and I had a pretty good car, uh, like relationship. He was the reason why I got drafted, to be honest, because I had a workout at West Virginia. I wasn't in, uh, invited to the combine. So my senior workout was like a massive day and it was happening in the stadium and the workouts were up in the indoor facility and it was cold as hell, right? It was cold as hell. So they're like, hey, go down. Do you want to run? I was like, no, 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 I don't want to run. Do, do you want to lift? I'm like, no. They're like, well, people might not watch you kick then if you don't do anything else. It's like, oh, I just want to be fresh for the kicking or whatever. So as people are running 40s, I'm like warming up and I'm just launching footballs into the roof. Boom! Like just trying to bang these things in the roof of our indoor facility as hard as I can, right? Yeah. Then they're like, all right, Pat, go down the field or whatever. And I'm sitting down there for like 15 minutes and the real question is like, will any scouts come down to the field to watch me kick right so literally i'm down there 15 minutes i'm like fuck like they're not <laughs> nobody's gonna come i should have just ran i should have did the lifting thing i should have done all thing and then tomlin comes walking down in front and it's tomlin and like 15 scouts or whatever and tomlin puts me through an entire workout it was like him putting me through a workout and everything and i like turned around i was like you're so nice man he was like bill stewart gave me my first job so bill stewart was our coach at the time he gave me my first job. Bill Stewart says he likes you. And any, I think his exact words were, any motherfucker that kick a 51-yarder in Heinz Field should be in the NFL. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, man. So he worked me out. So we had this relationship, this entire relationship right. throughout my entire career. And there was, it got a little bit later in my career or whatever. And we would talk before every game. And he was like, hey, I'm going to get your ass when you're old and cheap. I'm going to bring you back home. I want to let you know that. And I said, I ain't never going to be cheap. And I'm actually retiring after this year. So fucking take a hike. <laughs>